Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kristen. If you are coming back, then thank you so much for returning. Today, I'm just gonna do a quick TJ Maxx haul and Ulta. I have never been in Ulta and I needed setting spray. When I walked in there, it was like overload. I didn't know where to go. I roamed the aisles, I ended up in the bath section. I mean, it was, it was very overwhelming. So I ended up just going over to one of the girls that was working by the makeup and I told her that I needed setting spray and she suggested the MAC Prep and Prime. So you can spray on your face before as a primer and then you can use it afterwards to set it. All right, I'll take it. Meanwhile, I'm in line and I'm thinking, I wonder how much this is. Cause I didn't even ask at that point. I didn't say, oh, well, how much is it? So I had a slight panic attack, not panic attack, a slight concern while I was standing in line. I'm like, this is probably gonna be a lot. And the girl in front of me, I think her total was like $157 and she got like four things. But mine was not bad, it was 30 bucks. Then I just got this for my face masks. The glare is really bad, I apologize. So it's Eco Tools. It has the little brush for applying the mask and then the sponges that are slightly exfoliating to take the mask off. So that's all I got from Ulta. And TJ Maxx, I went looking for Halloween Ray Dunn things. I just need like one mug. And it was funny because a lot of people have been posting the dark side of Ray Dunn. So I went at the time that they opened just to see if we have any Ray Dunn stalkers in our area. There wasn't anybody there. However, I went into the store and there really wasn't any Ray Dunn anyway. So they may have been there yesterday or the day before and I had intended on asking the girl, but I chickened out and I never asked. So the main thing I went for was my Seattle's Best Hazelnut Coffee. These are so good. And it's only $4.29. So if you were to buy this at the grocery store, I think they're usually like eight or nine bucks and I drink a ton of coffee. So I like to get it cheaper than the price of the grocery store. And Seattle's best coffee is delicious no matter what flavor you get. All right, so then I got these two things. Tablecloth. Black. This was $9.99. And then they had matching napkins for $5.99. And this is really, really big. I usually get a lot of my table runners from Big Lots, but I just happened to see this and it's my color scheme. So I figure I can switch that out because I, I don't like to keep the same tablescape per se on the um, on the table, obviously. So I will change it out a little bit. And then I meandered over by the clothing and I got the super cute top. I don't know what you would call it, but and it's got like the puffy, not puffy sleeves, but like almost like bat wing sleeves. And this one was $12.99. I love this color. Then, shocker, I got a gray sweater. But this has the tie-ups in the back. And not realizing it when I was in the store, I actually bought a gray sweater last season that has the tie-ups in the front, so it's Pretty much exactly the same sweater, but opposite. This one was $14.99, and I needed a new pair of slipper socks, and these are cute because they have the grips on the back. And last but not least, I got some wool dryer balls. We had a problem with my dryer where I guess the dryer sheets, whatever's in them, put like a film on the back of the dryer on the vent part 
and then I had washed and dried, I think it was like two or three loads of clothes. And all of a sudden there was just like black honeycomb, almost like burn marks, but it was like plastic. It was bizarre. It was like plastic honeycomb black marks on our clothing. And a lot of the stuff was not so cheap. And I had ruined my daughter's brand new Nike warm up jacket. Son had like one of the Under Armour zip up hoodies and that had like black honeycomb marks all on the sleeve. I ruined a set of sheets and what else did I ruin? I mean, it was literally like three loads of laundry. So needless to say, I had to scrub the like grate in the back of the dryer and I haven't used dryer sheets since. So I got this and then I figure I'll just put my essential oils right on it and then plop them into the dryer. And it does say that it cuts down on drying time. So if it cuts down on drying time, then it should be better for your clothes. That's my thought. All right, so that is all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Have a great day.